Hi everyone, so this video review is for Midlife is the Cat's Meow by TB Marketing and Miranda McLeod, love that title. Um, if you want to check out my review, I have just posted it, so if you're on YouTube there's a link in the description below, and if you're on my blog then there's a link in the post. And this is the video review, so Midlife is the Cat's Meow by TB Marketing and Miranda McLeod. This was a magical and fun mystery and a little bit mad and a little bit crazy and I just loved everything about it. Um, Tally's life has changed after discovering um, her husband's wanted by the FBI. And so, with nothing now, she is back with her family, um, at the family home, uh, with just her daughters. And she's also keeping the secret um, that she lost her powers as a witch when she uh, left the first time. Uh, but rebuilding her life again in this place where she was banished from is kind of harder than it seems. And especially when her powers seem to have somewhat returned, and she starts being haunted by the ghost of a guest in her family's inn. So this was such a fun read and it definitely something a bit different. Um, there's a lot of layers to it then and a lot that would spoil it if you went into too much depth of the story. But Tally is struggling with just surviving, which I think we can all kind of to a point relate to. And then running into Nora, who's the cousin of the local town bully from high school, um, who seems to be interested in her, just makes it, oh, just, that's just the last thing she needs and just complicates everything. And then this story really weaved uh, lots of different storylines together to create intrigue, to create mystery. It kept moving in a way that made it fun to follow and difficult to predict. And I wasn't sure where the whole story was going from chapter to chapter sometimes, but that was the fun of it. Like, there were so many characters cropping up and they all had a little bit and they all had a little bit woven into the story. And that really got me hooked because I was enjoying every minute of uh, Tally's emotional ride here. And she was dealing with old relationships, new ones, past misunderstandings, a fear of being discovered, and two daughters who just kind of added to all the stress and disruption by behaving like teenagers um, ahead of their time because they'd had their life disrupted. So every character that was then introduced was quirky, it had something unique about them, added, just added, just kept adding to the mystery. This whole story was a mystery to me. Strange goings on and these misunderstandings delivered the drama, it really made the story and then that was great that because every romance needs that but romance wasn't the main focus of this. So I loved how the story focused on Tally and her feelings of the situation rather than being about her and Nora and where that was going to go. So their relationship was somewhat unrealised, especially by Tally, um, who was trying really hard to ignore any feelings and what she thought was happening until nearer to the end. So it could really focus on Tally just rediscovering herself and how wonderful she could be and how great life could be if she just stopped worrying about stuff, which... I think again that was really like yeah we need to learn from this um but it was a great story it left me smiling it gave me a good few laughs and it kept me guessing so i really really enjoyed it and i hope you will too i'll pop a link in the description so you can grab a copy of midlife is the cat's meow which i really really hope you will if you've read uh, midlife is the cat's meow by tv marketing and miranda mcleod then please do uh share your thoughts and let us know what, let us know did you enjoy it was it as much fun for you as it was for me um and if you uh, if you haven't read it yet, but you're planning to read it, it's on your spread list, so you're now super intrigued and thinking, yeah, I really want to read that. Then again, please do let us know, because it's always great to find out what you're interested in reading. And if you do read it, really, really hope you enjoy it. Bye.